In this video, I'll show you how to download and play Minecraft Bedrock on Mac. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's jump straight into this guide. Here we are on my MacBook and let's get right into this guide. So in order to go and get Minecraft Bedrock on your computer, what you need to do is go and open up a browser. So in this case, I'm using Safari. So we're actually going to go and get another program in order to go and get Minecraft Bedrock. So do bear with me, I'm going to explain everything um, and how this guide is going to work but what we need to do what, what you need to do sorry is go to the link below in the description or the pinned comment and um, it's going to be to a website called parallels now parallels is an application alternatively you can just search it in google just like so go to parallels just like this now as you can see we'll scroll down the website will be parallels.com but you're probably going to click the link but what parallels is is as you can literally see on the website it says run windows on mac so what you can do is as you can see in this image displayed here what it's going to be is literally a window with windows running on your mac so you can just go minimize it quickly open it up and then what we can go and do is just go and install minecraft bedrock on it from the microsoft store it's really easy and i'll show you how so parallels is a paid program but the best thing about it is it's got a 14 day free trial therefore you can go and try it out to see if you actually go and like using it and then if you like using it and it runs well in your system and it does everything you want to then you can go and consider buying it but of course it's great to go and test it first so once you're on the parallels website go and hit on download free trial just like so and here we are and we're on this page here and it gives you a little guide all you then want to do is press download free trial then as you can see we can then go and open up the install by pressing on the downloads button in the top right if you're using safari or alternatively what you can do is go and open up your finder go to the downloads folder and you're going to go and find the install parallels desktop .dng there. Find the parallels installer whether that be in your browser or you can go and open up your finder and go to the downloads folder. Then what you need to do is go, go and double tap on it and it's going to go and say opening. The installer will then pop up and you need to go and double tap on install parallels desktop. It's like a monitor in a box. When you go and double tap on that you'll then go and get another screen asking you to go and tap open. Then once you've gone and tapped open it's going to go and take a moment um, and pa the parallels install it is going to go and start. You'll go and get the end user license agreement which you need to go and agree to. I've read it before so go and tap accept if you're happy with it then it's going to go and say downloading and then after it's finished downloading it's going to go and ask you to go and enter your password or maybe during the process it depends and this is just because it's starting the install process as well um, so sit back and wait and it will then say initializing parallels desktop and then you're going to go and get a screen saying starting and then the parallels installation assistant is going to go and start and it's going to go and say download and install windows 11 so you can either go and click install windows in the bottom right or you can go and click skip and you may be on this screen here um, so if you go and press skip it's going to go and look something like this as you can see it says get windows 11 from microsoft and there's a few other options but just go and click get windows 11 from microsoft and then you can go and start the install and then it's going to go and download the file for you so it's a few more gigabytes you do have to download but of course windows 11 is a necessary part of this working after windows 11 has downloaded it's going to automatically start being installed by parallels so as you can see it's literally like a windows system you can go and move your mouse around and stuff like that and this will take some time so literally sit back and relax and during the windows installation process i got this sort of screen asking me to go and sign into my parallels account all I did was click on I am a new user and then you can go and enter your details. Then after you've registered your account, you'll be taken to a screen which says activate parallels desktop and it's going to ask for a key. But what you need to do is come to the bottom left and go and tap on try free for 14 days and go and activate your free trial. It's really easy. Um, and then it's going to go and say welcome to parallels and we can go and take advantage of this trial. And once you start the trial, parallels sometimes goes and pauses windows. So if it does, it says suspended, just tap on the play button and then it's going to go and resume it. This is just to go and sort of save power usage. And during the installation process, you may go and see like a windows screen with just a rotating circle literally just sit back and wait for the process to do everything or they it will then say getting ready and there'll be a few more processes it does take a bit of time for everything to be installed and then after some time windows 11 is going to go and appear just like so and as you can see i've now got a fully functioning windows computer so now what we need to do is go and get minecraft bedrock so of course what you need to do is come to the bottom bar on parallels and go and tap on that little shopping bag sort of icon with the microsoft store logo on it this is the microsoft store if if that isn't there for you go and tap on the magnification glass and go and search microsoft store and go and open it up now here we are in the microsoft store and all you need to do is go and tap in the top bar where it says search apps and you want to go and search for minecraft just like so and then your results should look something like this now as you can see there's this big deluxe collection thing so all you want to do is click on this even though you don't want both of them then scroll down and you're going to have the option for in this bundle and what we want is minecraft for windows minecraft for windows is also uh minecraft bedrock it's literally the same thing so go and tap on it just like so and then we can go and install it now it is important to note that you are going to need to go and sign in with a microsoft account 
So in order to do that, go and tap on your profile picture in the top right of the Microsoft Store and then you can go and sign into your account. And make sure you sign in with the Microsoft account that you've got Minecraft on. And if you haven't got Minecraft on this account, then go and purchase it on this account uh, because that's how it's linked. It's linked to a Microsoft account. So in this case, I've bought Minecraft on this account or linked it with my uh, Mojang account whenever it is. And then I can go and install it again because I already own it. However, if you don't already own it, you'll need to go and buy it. And then you can tap install and then it's going to install on your system and you can go and play it. If you found this guy useful please go down below and consider leaving a like peace